Welcome to this overview of the utility for the GS911 Wi-Fi for Mac and Windows. The first thing, of course, is to ask what is it for? Well, you'll be using it to do the updates on your firmware. You can use it to configure a GS911 Wi-Fi device with a Wi-Fi network and to register your GS911 Wi-Fi for support and warranty purposes. You can download the utility from our downloads page on hexcode.co.za. It's important that you make sure you are downloading the correct version of the utility, either for Windows or Mac, depending on which platform you're going to run it on. Once you've downloaded, installed and opened our utility, you can take your GS911 Wi-Fi device and plug it into a powered USB port on your computer. The information of your GS911 Wi-Fi, which you have just plugged into your PC or Mac, is displayed at the top of the utility window. If the device is in infrastructure mode, you will see a serial number, IP address, which was assigned to it by the network it's connected to, and the name of that Wi-Fi network. If your device is switched to D2D mode, you will see its serial number, but an IP address of 10.0.0.1, and the name of the Wi-Fi network of that GS911 Wi-Fi itself, to which you will connect in D2D mode. The rest of the utility window is concerned with the Wi-Fi infrastructure of your GS911 Wi-Fi. And at the bottom here, you will see a list of all the GS911 Wi-Fi devices currently connected to the same network to which your PC or Mac is currently connected. If you click on the Show Device Details button, you will find the serial number, checksum and various versions of your firmware. Under Wi-Fi Details, you will find the name of the Wi-Fi network to which your device is currently connected, the Wi-Fi mode within which it is, and the IP which was assigned to it by the network to which it is currently connected. You will notice that interface information talks about the device that is currently plugged into your USB port, while Wi-Fi details tells you how it is currently configured to a Wi-Fi network. The button Open Browser for this device simply opens an interface to that device in your default browser. So let's move on to the Check for Updates button. Listed here are two items. The first one is the GS911 Wi-Fi Launcher, which is the utility that you're currently using. And the second is the GS911 Wi-Fi device itself. We see that both is up to date. The Device Registration button opens a window in your default browser, which allows you to change the registered name and email for your device. We already covered registration in a previous video, so I'm going to ask that you refer to that video with any detailed questions. When we move over to the Configure Wi-Fi section, you will see a drop-down list of all available Wi-Fi networks. If the network you are looking for is not listed, simply click the button that says Scan for Networks. Select a network to which you wish to configure your GS911 Wi-Fi and provide the network password for that network. Then click the Connect to Network button. If you keep an eye at the top of the utility window, you can see the progress of your GS911 Wi-Fi connecting to the network which you have just selected. And once that network provides your GS911 Wi-Fi with an IP address, you know that it has successfully connected to that network. Here we see our device successfully connected to the Wi-Fi network called Peter. The next item we'll be taking a look at is the Test Network button, which is usually used to test the connection between your GS911 Wi-Fi and our cloud server. Our cloud server is where you will find some of the service functionality when you are not using our Windows PC application. You can either use IP addresses or URLs for your tests, but we suggest that you use the URL hexcode.co.za to test the connectivity between your GS911 Wi-Fi and our Hex cloud server. Remember that your device needs to be in infrastructure mode to do this last mentioned test. At the end of the test, you'll see a summary of average ping times and packet losses, and you can use that to base your judgment on. At the bottom of the utility window, there is a section called Devices Detected on Wi-Fi. And what we see here is a list of GS911 Wi-Fi devices, which are connected, configured, and active on the Wi-Fi network to which your PC or Mac is currently connected. If you wish to identify a device, in case you have several GS911 Wi-Fi devices active on the same network, let's say in a workshop, you simply select a device and click on the button that says Identify Beep Device. 
This should make the device beep loudly and you will know exactly which device you are dealing with. The button that says open browser for this device simply opens a browser window in your default browser to the selected device. Thank you for watching.